Hello everyone, Richard here, and today we're going to be looking at one of the new weapons included in the Grim Treatments update, the HRG Buckshot. Based on the Gunslinger's 500 Magnum, the Buckshot is a revolver that fires shotgun shells, likely for 10 gauge shells based on the weapon's size. It is a tier 3 weapon, costing 550 dosh for a single Buckshot, or 1100 for a pair. The Buckshot deals 28 damage per pellet, and each shell contains 5 pellets, giving each shot a total damage value of 140, on par with the SG-500. While this is on the lower side compared to some other shotguns, it does offer some other advantages that help compensate. First and foremost is its fire rate of 250 rounds per minute for a single Buckshot and 315 for a Kimbo. This allows it to fire even faster than the AA-12, giving it a higher burst DPS as well at 840 compared to 700 when both weapons are at tier 4. This also gives the Buckshots a better theoretical economy of force as the HRGs only weigh 6 kilograms at tier 4 versus 10 for the AA-12. However, there are two notable drawbacks for the Buckshot when competing against the AA-12. First, the Buckshots do have rather high recoil when compared to other shotguns, so a bit of practice with them is required, while the AA-12 is very beginner friendly. Second, the spread factor is roughly double than that of the AA-12, SG-500, and M4. This means pellets will be more likely to stray from your aiming point, making takedowns against Big Zeds a little bit riskier. This can be remedied, however, very easily with the tight choke skill. The Buckshot fires from a 5 round revolving cylinder and using this in a Kimbo will double the rounds available to 10. While this isn't amazing when compared to the HZ-12 and AA-12, it beats out the M4 and SG-500 pound for pound. Even when up against large Zeds, 10 rounds should be more than sufficient with a little bit of practice. Reload speeds are fairly quick too, taking 2.6 seconds for a single Buckshot and 3.6 for a Kimbo's and 1.6 seconds and 2.1 seconds respectively with the tactical reload skill. While these aren't lightning fast, they certainly take much less time than a tube fed shotgun assuming you're completing a full reload. Total ammo is also fine but a few dozen rounds short of the AA-12. You do however get roughly the same ammo at a reduced cost, so filling up the buckshot will be a few dash cheaper than many other shotguns. So, how do these unreasonably powerful hand cannons work their way into the overall theory of the support class, and what are some effective, or at the very least, fun ways to use them? Their recoil right now seems to be the biggest barrier for them being super effective, preventing most players from chaining successive headshots even at point blank range. I still prefer the tried and true M4, Doomstick, and AA-12 for my Big Zed takedowns due to their consistency and ease of use. However, the lightweight and high DPS of the Buckshots do make them very tempting as a secondary or tertiary weapon. Again, they do take some getting used to, especially due to their low pellet count and high recoil for a shotgun, but are very rewarding to learn. At worst, I see them as a way to fill a gap in your multi-shotgun support build, or as a way to mix up an existing build, especially with the M4, Boomstick, and HZ-12 metal loadout. However, at their peak potential, they can be a straight up replacement for the AA-12, weighing 2-3 kilograms less and being able to kill Big Zeds faster, at least on paper. This does come at the obvious cost of being much riskier as a single missed shot can leave you with two empty revolvers and an enraged flesh pound bearing down on you. For specific loadout recommendations, the Buckshots work well as an alternative to the HZ-12 in a 3 shotgun build, using the M4 for big Zeds and long range, the Boomstick for its utility, and the Buckshots for everything in between. This also affords you 5 kilograms at level 25 for upgrades, so feel free to distribute that how you want, although I typically prefer to stack my upgrades on the M4 and Boomstick. Otherwise, thanks to the support's large inventory space and wide variety of weapons, I feel it can fit into other builds, replacing some of the more generic shotguns. Overall, the Buckshots make at the very least an interesting addition to the support's arsenal, its only major drawbacks are its large weight increase from upgrading 
and it's extremely high recoil. The buckshots are also sort of in a difficult spot, considering a noticeable recoil reduction might make them too powerful compared to something like the AA-12. It's hard to say though, because its higher spread might also be keeping it in check. Tell me what you all think of the HRG buckshots in the comments, and I'm also curious how everyone likes to use them. Also, check out my live streams over on Twitch. My channel name is The Richard Dangles, or you can just click the link in my YouTube page or in the description. I'm going to be streaming every Thursday, Friday, and Saturday night at 6 p.m. till whenever I feel like getting off. Thank you all for watching. Join me next time when we take a look at the field medic and his new weapons. But until then, happy hunting.